Hi Internet, and welcome to another uh, Dreadogs Reviews. Um, today we're going to take a look at um, a, another Sabre. This one uh, will be from Sabre Forge. Um, and uh, I know what's in this box, so this is not a, a mystery box. It's um, uh, something I ordered off their Etsy uh, store. Uh, and so as I kind of get this box pried open, um, it's a little bit of inter information. Um, you know, if you do some research online, you'll actually uh, hear uh, from people that, you know, if you're going to order from Sabre Forge, really it's best to go through the Etsy store because the delivery times are better. Um, now, I haven't, I've not ordered directly from the Sabre Forge website, so I cannot speak to that. Um, I know that there's a lot of people who, who say that um, based on their experience. I think the challenge here is um, something that I've always found is that... Um, well, people are like, oh, you should go to the Etsy store because they're really slow to ship on the website. And they complain. The internet is really good for complaining. Um, very little praise going on. So um, I don't know if it really is best to go to the Etsy store or if it is best to um, go to... Uh, um, or if you can order from the website and get the same results. Um, I can say that I ordered this... Um, August 12th. It is August 30th, so it's an 18-day turnaround, including weekends. Um, reasonable. Um, a little spoiled by um, one of the other companies who literally can get me a Sabre within a week, um, but there it is. Um, so the Sabre today uh, is a Temple Guard Battle Staff um, Custom Sabre, and this was, um, uh, you know, I, I've been wanting to see some Custom Sabres or Custom uh, Sabre Staffs. Um, and this is a uh, battle staff, saber staff, um, and um, uh, this was one that I had my eye on with uh, Saber Forge, and it was not available on their website. I could only get it on the Etsy store, so I ordered through the Etsy store. So really quick, what's in the box so far? A little pouch with some some stuff in it, uh, business card, uh, hex wrench, USB cable. And oops, third thing, oh, another hex wrench, two hex wrenches, and um, uh, power block. So, um, pretty much what I expect. I did order the champion level, and so the champion uh, level will be um, uh, the quad Cree 12 watt LEDs, Saber Core 3.0 uh, with three edible sound fonts, built in recharge upgrade, um, and then Saber Core 3.0. Uh, two blades in here as expected, uh, two sabers in here as, uh, uh, or two hilts in here as expected as well. Uh, so let's cut these free. Um, so yeah, I placed this order before going down to their showroom. I went to their showroom and bought uh, other sabers from Sabre Forge in the meantime. Uh, and, uh, 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 but again, it's, um, you know, it's... Uh, Oh, I guess it isn't two helps, it's one helps. Interesting. Okay. Uh, there we go. Sorry for all the noise. Let's move the box. Leave the blaze out for now. And here is the hilt. Um, and so we've seen, uh, we've seen, um, and, and you can go online and you can find a lot of these Sabre companies will sell you basically what equivalents to, equivalents to um, two sabers and you put a couple in between them and it makes one big, um, one bigger saber. And we've seen that before with uh, another company, um, really beautiful uh, experience there. Um, so we'll take a look at this and this just says Battle Guard, uh, Temple Guard, Battle Staff, V-I-C-C-Q. Um, and uh, there we go. Uh, so this um, uh, really nice, uh, look to it initially. Um, two power buttons to, to power up either side. Um, I had noted on one of the other reviews that it'd be interesting to see, you know, a one button solution. They probably could go with this. I suspect they're going with the two button solution um, because uh, that way it gives you better control, which makes sense. I totally get that. Um, so let's see. Let's just turn one on. Heirloom. Heirloom? Ranger's Blade. Ranger's Blade. The master. The master. Oh, and that's green. Uh, there's a blade plug in here. Uh, let's do the other side. Let's see. Oh, there, oh, there we go. So the other side, uh, let me turn this here. I can turn this side off. Inter 
interesting. Um, so it looks like just interesting experience we'll have to play with. So we have a light here. We don't have a light here. And we had a color here initially, but we don't now. So I wanna... now, I, oh, now I do have a color. And so now this seems to be, yep, that's just a toggle. So the bottom one is just a toggle, so I can turn it on or off. So this is very, actually, this is, wow, this is actually really nice. Uh, this is the experience that, I, that I've been kind of talking about. So I can control the whole thing. I'm going to turn off the top, what I'll call the top button. And they both turn off. So I can control with the one button. This 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 button here lets me uh, basically turn on and off the bottom blade if I want to. Um, yep, really nice. Uh, so let's go through some of the details. I'm noticing a couple of things right away. Um, but let's go ahead and drop it off. So blade plugs provided by uh, Saber before. It's really nice. Um, I liked, and this was something that I really liked about this design. I liked this kind of. Uh, fork design, um, really, really nice. Um, these are, uh, you can see there's a, a bit of a ridge here, so these are plates added on. There's some really nice detailing here. Um, these probably would be really good emitter windows, um, obviously not the case. Uh, and then uh, real nice uh, aluminum uh, cutouts here. Um, a little bit of the, the ridging here is a little rough. Um, not horrible, but it's it's it, it definitely could use a bit of smoothing. Um, I'm gonna try to take the the uh, the blade plug out while we look at this. Yoink! Come on, there we go. So let's get the blade plug out. Unscrew, 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 unscrew. Yep, come straight out. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Easy enough. Um, uh, nice grip in the middle though, um, so it is a nice one hand staff. Um, no Covertech wheel. Um, could I add one right here? I bet you I could. Um, so I could probably add a Covertech wheel, possibly. Um, that looks like to be the right size. Um, have to play with that a bit and see. Uh, maybe I'll do a report on that later. Um, interesting again, the, the different kind of cutouts here. So then we have the cutouts here. There's some nice detailing here as well with little ridges. Um, uh, lit button, recharge port. Um, and then again, the, the kind of clamshell head at the top again. Um, so really nice. Uh, maybe, maybe the, ooh, well, that's also could be a good place for a cover tech wheel. There's another hole there that might be a screw. Now, one thing that I'm noticing um, right away, let me go ahead and take, uh, let me take this blade plug out too. Unscrew, 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 unscrew. Okay. Drop that out. Comes out really easy. Okay. Um, turn back on. That's actually a bit brighter or about louder. Uh, really bright color. Um, the not sure exactly where the speaker hole is. I think that might be it here. We need to see. Yeah, I think the, the the sound is really coming through this small hole here, this little hole here. Um, so let's see if I can get it to change colors. So, and then... Ranger's Blade. Ranger's Blade. The Master. So that's still green. It's flickering. Turn that off. The Master. Hello. It looks like they're all set to green currently, so I should be able to customize this um, through the USB port. So that's fine. Um, totally fine with that. Let's go and put the blades in now and take a look at what it looks like with the blades. So let's, uh, let's grab our stand here. Do a dunk, and we'll kind of pan over to that. And then we will uh, cut these uh, sabers loose. Um, so, you know, initial impression, again, nice saber. The sound is somewhat muted. I think those two small holes, if that really is what's driving the sound, um, is, uh, is frankly probably not enough. Um, you know, I'm not huge in the sound. Maybe these are speaker holes here. Um, I'm not, a, you know, a huge concern about the sound. I do like, I mean, I do like my swooshing. We've, we've discussed the swooshing. Um, 
but um, in some ways, if, if I am muting it with my hand, maybe this is a battery issue, I just need to charge it, um, which is totally fine, and that's understandable. Um, we've run into that before where we just needed to charge everything up. I'll slide this in. Um, but if it's not, if it's just muted, um, you know, I would, I would say it's definitely, it just, it has a muted sound, right? So it's not, it's not that it's not very loud. It sounds muted. It sounds muffled, um, which would be, um, uh, you know, I call it the same. I, I think, you know, if you're going to have the sound, you should, you should build for, build for a, uh, build for the sound. Again, these might be, these might be speakers next to this. Um, but let's getting this all tightened up. Okay, now let's take the very dangerous cutting knife. There we go. Now let's light this up on the platform here. Okay. Make some adjustments. There we go. Yeah, so really nice green. Um, let's try to adjust it on the stand. Here we go. Uh, yeah, it definitely it's a really nice green, um, but again, the sound is fairly muffled. Um, I like the fact that I can turn that off, so that's kind of neat. It makes it for a, a very kind of long one-handed pike, if you will. Um, I'll try some of the other blade. So there's off. Ranger's blade. Ranger's blade. So Ranger's blade is a bit of a flicker. Let's see if we get the paper under here so you can kind of see uh, see the flicker here uh, yeah so you can see the flicker um, sorry I was just trying to adjust the camera a little bit um, turn off Ranger's blade monster so slightly faster flicker. So definitely gonna go in and play with the colors a bit. Um, I actually like the sound fonts, I think they're nice. But again, it's it's very muted. Um, uh, the, the sound is very muted. It's more muted than I would have thought it would. Um, I do see where in my order, I did order the blade colors green, which actually doesn't surprise me. Um, but again, I can come in here and should be able to customize this as a, as a champion. Um, let's take a look at the size. So we'll start with our piece of paper and our size is, um, we are, we're at about 11 and a half to the button and then maybe another, yeah, so we're about uh, a full, a full length of a piece of paper and half of the, the, the short end. Um, if we're going to break, break out the ruler, we are looking at, we're looking at 15 and a half inches. Um, Width-wise, we're looking at probably, yeah, we're looking at about one and a half inch uh, diameter tube. Um, very pretty weapon. Again, I'm, I'm, I actually, I like it. Uh, I, don't get me wrong, I like it a lot. Um, all right, Malsta. Let me get it lit up here again. Um, it looks really pretty, um, especially like the, the green looks really cool. The pulsing is really, really nice. Um, you know, in thinking, obviously, so now I cannot put a cover tech wheel in here because this is a speaker and I'm definitely, I mean, I can tell the difference when I cover up the hole. Um, I would say that, um, yeah, you know, what I would like to have seen them do is maybe turn this space into here into a bit of, um, uh, mesh and, and I'm not a designer. So I get to pick at this and not have any idea about the work that went into this. So take this as a enthusiast, um, not a, uh, as a design engineer, but I would have turned this into um, a speaker uh, or a grill to allow more sound to come out um, or these small holes here one of the two um, but yeah these two holes here I mean if I do if I pinch it it's barely audible um, it, you know it, but again it looks really cool um, I'll do uh, a quick um, standing with it so we can kind of compare to some of the other um, saber staffs and I'll actually do a, a comparison video um, with this one and the other Sabre staff uh, in the next couple of weeks, you can kind of get a sense of, of the differences between the two. Uh, so let's see. Um, what else should we talk about? Again, I think it's a nice Sabre. 
I'm not sorry that I have it. I think the speaker situation, um, maybe it's a matter of I need to go drill a hole and make it sound a little, a little, uh, a little deeper. Um, I definitely think it's a very nice display piece. I'm going to be happy to display it. Um, uh, yeah, so let's do, let me uh, take a quick pause. Let me get set up so that you can see it um, uh, standing and get a sense of the size of it. And then we'll do some closing thoughts. Okay, so um, here we are. So again, I'm 6'3". Uh, slightly taller than I am. Uh, give it a press. There we go. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's definitely uh, sort of smaller than the other one. Um, there we go. Right, so slightly smaller than the other one. Um, nice twirl. So uh, I feel a little bit better about twirling lights in this small space. Let's see. Yeah, I definitely got a, a clash. I'm not getting a flashlight clash, which may be either a configuration issue or a, uh, or a, uh, um, just a feature issue, maybe it's not available. Uh, I think the green is pretty bright. Um, but again, I think you get a, a sense of the size, uh, but it's very easy to do this one-handed. So it could very easily um, twirl with one hand. Uh, not a lot of practice, uh, but I could definitely, uh, I could definitely manage it. It's not, it's not too heavy like the other one. It's definitely two hand, it's definitely two hander. This is just a one. Um, and again, though, if I'm here, I'm definitely covering up the, the sound hole. Um, and again, it's kind of cool where you can go super long, kind of pike look. So, um, you know, nice. Uh, nice all around. Um, all right, let's do some closing thoughts here. All right, so we're back. Um, so closing thoughts. Uh, nice Sabre staff. Um, the sound is probably the biggest disappointment. Um, it definitely needs something. It needs help. Um, a very nicely built saber. I like the additional off button. Um, I do like that it's a single piece saber staff. So I like that. I like the single piece um, as opposed to the coupled together. Um, I don't regret, and again we'll do a comparison, um, I don't regret the other Sabre staff I have, which is two Sabres. I actually think it works really well as two Sabres. You look together, it looks really awesome. Um, but I, I think there are some cases, some of the Sabre staffs I've seen online, which are very much, um, hey, look, you just stuck two Sabres together. Um, when you look at like Darth Maul's, his was, you know, very clearly this type of look through most of the movie. Super long handle, right? And then... He put in, you know, then he, at the end, he, he activates the other blade. Um, so, again, I like it. Don't regret the purchase. Wish the sound was a little better. Definitely a great display piece. Um, happy to have it in my collection. Let me know what you think about Sabre Staffs. Um, and, uh, yeah, let me know what you think about Sabre Staffs. Sabre Staffs? Staff Sabres? Either way. Um, let me know what you think about the sound. Is am I making too big of a, a deal of it? Um, and again, I'll do. Uh, I'm gonna play with the colors a little bit, and, but I'll also do a um, a uh, uh, comparison of uh, this one with my other saber staff um, in a week or two, and we can kind of compare notes and see. Um, maybe we'll even bust out some of the math and talk about the, the value. Um, I do find it interesting that it automatically turns itself off after a certain amount of time. Um, it also gets a little warm, which is interesting. I think that's pretty indicative. I found some of my other sabers do that. Um, so in the meantime, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, uh, you know, again, this was sold out on Saberforge's website. It was available on Etsy. Um, um, it got here in, you know, just over two weeks, two weeks and four days, um, which would be two business weeks and, and the weekends. Um, and, uh, you know, again, I'm, I, I'm pretty pleased with it. It's, it's a really nice, a nice saber. Um, and, uh, yeah, I thought, I, you know, kind of looking for something else to say, but I think it's just a solid, solid, solid display piece for sure. Uh, might be a really nice, um, 
cosplay piece. I'll have to figure out how to um, hang it though, the, or how to wield it. A little tough without a cover tech clip. I can always add one, I guess. Um, as always, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. I know I say that after every video, but um, as someone who watches a lot of videos on YouTube, watch a lot of Twitch, um, you know, I, I know that you have other choices. I know you can be watching other content. And if you've gotten this far um, in my video, means um, a lot to me personally, um, as someone who, who does this also somewhat professionally. Believe it or not, I do uh, some of this professionally. Um, so um, I really know what it takes to get through these videos. So I really do appreciate you taking the time to watch these videos with me. Um, and uh, as always, leave any comments and thoughts down below. Um, and uh, if you found this interest, video interesting, give me a like. Um, if you, you know, really liked it, share it with your friends or, um, you know, as always, I can always use this for subscribes. Um, not looking to monetize, just want my custom URL. Um, so again, thanks for your time and uh, have a great day, Internet.